Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install RabbitMQ in the Linux machine. First of all, uh, RabbitMQ is a, is a free and open source message broker software. Uh, it, it provides a platform to send and receive the messages and supports multiple messaging protocol. It is also known as a, as a queue manager. So I hope you guys already know about the RabbitMQ. If you don't, please go to the RabbitMQ website and you will get the idea how it works and what is RabbitMQ. If you guys are here to learn how to install RabbitMQ, I will show you guys step by step how to install RabbitMQ in the Ubuntu server. So let's get started. Okay, so I have this instance from uh, AWS uh, EC2. So I have allowed uh, all IP and all um, protocol to access from the internet. So this is the new machine. Let's uh, start from apt get update. Just want to update everything system. Okay, it looks like it is updated, and there is a, a report. Uh, repository from the RabbitMQ and then uh, I'm going to put this here okay this, uh, I will provide this all uh, link below in the description and this is the for the key okay and let's get uh, update this one more time apt get update okay there we go now we need to install RabbitMQ right so to install RabbitMQ we have a command apt get install RabbitMQ so and he's asking do you want to continue yes of course that's what we are doing here it takes a few minutes. Well, yeah, it doesn't take too long. Okay, so it's about to install. There you go. So it installed now. So if you if you want to get this success from the internet, um, So this missing public IP address I already have taken from the AWS console. So that IP address is it's gonna be this one. And I already installed Apache 2, that's why it's showing at Apache, but the RevitMQ protocol is 15672. Okay, let's see if we can able to assist this or not. Okay, we are. It looks like it says undefined. There is no template as this is this. So we are not able to assess RabbitMQ properly from the. Even we don't have to. We, you know, you see, it, we are not able to assess RabbitMQ. You know why? Because we haven't created the RabbitMQ. Um, we install RabbitMQ, but we have not created a RabbitMQ um, user. So, in order to get the uh, access from the internet, you have to um, you have to uh, create the user. Even though RabbitMQ is running here, we are not able to access the RabbitMQ from the browser. So, now what we need to do? We need to create the user. To create the user, is a command. Revit MQ add user let's put the user and admin and give the password for let's say give the admin you know uh, and then Revit MQ add Revit MQ add user oh sorry my bad I have to do the Revit MQ CTL Adding the CTL and there it is. Yep, adding user admin. Don't forget this and that. And you know, this is the 
permission and now we can give admin to administrator okay and one other important thing that we need to consider is giving the permission so here i'm giving the all permission to the admin okay this star star means all permission so we're setting the permission already and so if we get the like a webcam queue from the url and you need to get the management um, plugin so which makes you to control from the web browser so i'm enabling this here all right so like i said i already allowed the port 15672 so if you see the your status it is inactive that means all ports are open uh, so i'm for the just testing purpose i did not enable the firewall so yeah i think um we are all set guys uh let me restart ss system ctl restart rest uh, restart rabbit mq server uh, and that should be that should be working fine okay because uh of the configuration things i think is Status Q. All right, active and running, and let's see the same web browser that we access. And I'm gonna reload it. You see, under the password, we uh, the username is admin, and the password that we get is admin. Okay, admin. What? Okay. Let's let's send the let's change the um, IP address. I'm mean, sorry, uh, the user password again because I don't know. Maybe I put the wrong username. So there is a command to uh, change IP. Uh, sorry, uh, the password here. Um, so. Okay, this is the Kelton Kitchen's password, and we give the password to uh, user admin, and we're gonna give the password as password to the system. We want to just this now. Okay, yeah. Let me see. Um, I thought I put admin. Um, There you go. Now it's able to assist. All right. This is the RabbitMQ web pages. From here, you can create the queue. You can uh, do whatever you want to do. Even you can create the um, uh, user also. Let's create the user from here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Username is. Uh, my user username is Ramus and we're gonna give the password to uh, the whatever password is I'm giving and if you want to give the tag like monitoring policy maker management inspector or whatever I'm giving the monitoring and you can see this is all that monitoring can do so the monitoring can do user can access the management plugin and see all the connection in channel as well as a node related information okay so i add the user let me close this first and add the user you see it doesn't have a that access but yeah it is what it is so we can give the access if needed and um so yeah this is it uh, this is how we install that gmq in the Linux server. Thank you.